Hello and welcome to A Word of Hope for this 12th Monday in Ordinary Time. I'm Brother Joe Trout coming to you again from St. Vincent Ferrer Parish. And today's readings leave me with this question. What is the difference between judging and choosing? We hear in the psalm response, blessed the people that God has chosen to be his own. And then we hear in the gospel, Jesus say, do not judge. And then he goes on to talk about criteria for judging. So we've got to be careful what on earth does he mean by do not judge there. Um, but choosing versus judging, you know, it's not so obvious that like every choice is a judgment call. Uh, every choice that we make, every like what I'm choosing to talk about right now, that's a judgment call. Um, we make judgments all the time. And in fact, we have to, like we choose who to vote for, who to support. Uh, how do we want to uh, handle disciplining our kids? What careers do we want? Like those are all judgment calls that we're trying to make the best possible choice that we can with the information we have. Um, and there is a way in which we can hear, do not judge. And we do kind of know what we mean. We say, all right, don't be judgmental. Um, but does that mean that I don't see the faults in others, that I can't see problems in this world? Because it, it sure seems like I have to at different points, that it's important for me as a teacher to actually make judgment calls about what do students understand, how is their behavior going. Um, and so here's where I think Jesus's point comes in really strongly, uh, that why do you want to remove the splinter from someone else's eye without removing the plank from your own? And here's the question, really, how do I see? That's really what this is about, that God chooses his people. How does God see us? You know, we hear all the time throughout the Bible that God didn't choose the, the strong and the proud. He chose the weak and the humble. Uh, St. Paul boasts of his suffering. Uh, that's how he sees us as those in need. Uh, so when I'm making judgment calls and choices, when I'm having to evaluate the world around me, this is the real question. Am I seeing the world well? Or is there a giant wooden beam in my eye that is making all of my judgments kind of pointless? Uh, that I'm too caught up in my own pride thinking that God chose me because I'm so good? Or have I removed that beam and allowed God's choosing me because God is loving to impact the way that I look at my decisions and others? that I can see the splinters in their eyes in the view of a loving God. That's what I ask you to ponder today. How clearly do you see? Thank you, and God bless.